because I do try this because um, I teach at the wake up at the crack of dawn so sometimes I will use this from organic root stimulator it's, it's a cheap shot in the dark you know I used I used to use this when I was um, relaxing my hair but I just bought this because sometimes I press for time so I don't get to actually tend to my hair like I want to so I'll use this and trust me it does it's nothing compared to ran regular basic normal shea butter and for those of you guys that are thinking about going natural or transitioning or some sisters that have never used um, shea butter but are natural um, I order mine online and it comes out of a out of a vendor out of a seller from uh, Florida South Florida I live in Florida as well but they have it actually imported um, from Ghana um, that's so I definitely when I can I try to support black owned businesses and things of that nature so if I can find the name of the person I'll definitely let y'all know it's probably one of my receipts but I buy it in bulk and I have the same block of shea butter that I've had for a little over two years <laughs> and it works it's it still maintains its texture and I don't think it's going bad I've heard some people say you know if shea butter is really dark dark yellow or white 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 it's not good I'm not sure I don't know the specificities around that but mine is a, a creamy type of texture it's still like in the, it's block form but it's around I was like a cream color not white definitely not dark yellow and I got on <laughs> the lady uh, that owns the local health food store where I live um, she had this big huge block of like dark yellow you see my color of my own um, I'll show you the color of my towel it was darker than this y'all okay it was dark dark like my earring dark and it was hard so it wasn't the fact that it was like dark yellow and like it still had the creamy texture but it was like hard like just like a, the, the outer the outer texture of a walnut shell you know and I asked her I said how long has this been up here she says oh we just got it I said well how long has it been stored wherever you got it from wherever it was transferred oh we don't know and y'all are selling people this and I said well this doesn't look like good shea butter and like she got really upset and mad at me talking about well you know it, it's it's it, it's it's good you know people use it for numerous things and I'm like I know I use it on my hair been using it on my hair for years but anyway enough about my rant with local health food stores and um so just be be certain that what you are buying from the health food store is good quality because just because it's healthy it has that staple on it or that label on it does not necessarily mean that it's healthy so keep that in mind all right i do a lot of rambling my students <laughs> they they remind me of that sometimes but so yeah i'll use the organic root stimulator when I'm in a rush because I have to wake up really early I commute roughly an hour or so from where I live to where I teach so sometimes I do take shortcuts y'all time dictates to me how much effort I put on my hair and I'm a low maintenance woman I don't like to, to, to doodle in my hair all day or to, to have my hands in my hair all day I don't like constantly having to deal with it I just like to have a style have that style, rock it for a day, twist it up at night, and do that same thing for about a week till I wash my hair. I don't do a lot of extravagant things with my hair. I used to when I first got nat when I, when I was first natural and had my TWA and I was doing a lot of twist, flat twists and things like that. But now it's just I haven't been as enthusiastic to constantly want to pull and tug at my hair I just let my hair do its thing and one thing about natural hair is that you don't have to do much to it to have it you know looking really nice and I definitely like my hair looking nice that's the main thing so uh, 